Howdy y'all. I thought I'd make a quick video to give you an idea what happens to these big pieces of stainless steel when they disappear from the lab and go to my shop. Here we have a, about a 14 inch long, 5 inch diameter solid piece of 316, 316L alloy. This is the high purity stainless steel you always find in bioreactors, pharmaceutical processing equipment, chemical plants, food and beverage, etc. This is your standard high corrosion resistance stainless steel. Um, it's a fairly large chunk of metal. You can see compared to my hand, it weighs about 75 pounds, but fortunately we have a much larger machine to deal with it. Not very big compared to the 4,000 pound lathe. So we're going to start the process of converting this chunk of billet into these flanges uh, that will be um, caps for pressure vessels. So first operation is going to be to uh, get rid of this mill finish on the outside and uh, turn it to a constant diameter. That's what we want. So we have it set up in the lathe. You can see I have a dial gauge there. I have it centered. It's running pretty true. I'm getting about 15 thousandths of run out on the end, which isn't too bad for a, a chunk of metal this size and this long with such a, a rough mill finish. Um, there's plenty of oversize to get the exact five inch diameter I want. So we'll go ahead and we'll put the machine in gear and fire it up. We're spinning that thing at about 300 RPMs, which is you know, not that fast, but a little scary. If something that heavy were to fly out of here, it would do a lot, a lot of damage. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little lube on there. We have a nice new carbide cutting tool. I already have the diameter set for a roughing pass, so we'll go ahead and um, engage the feed. So it's starting to cut kind of where you've seen I've done a little cutting already. There we go. Scraping off the mill finish. Cuts like butter. So we'll make one pass at this kind of diameter, kind of check the progress and um, go back and make one more pass to get our final diameter. Then the next operation will start slicing this thing into slices more along the thickness of the, the flange. All right, so that's what we're up to today. Thanks for watching.